Welcome back to my studio. I'm continuing work on this great big painting. I uh, first of all want to tell you um, on this video and any of the others that I show, the perspective is always looks a little off as I'm doing the video because as you can see here at the bottom, I have to take the video with my camera at an angle to the canvas. So you get a little bit of a skewed perspective. With that said, let's get going. I'm painting now the California poppies here. I've already painted my sea lavender with mixtures. The flowers are mixes of magenta plus dioxanine purple and white. And then I have some mixes of just pure magenta and white and then some dioxanine purple plus white. So that gives me those um, flowers for the sea lavender. The foliage is sap green plus a tiny bit of lemon yellow and white. Now I'm working on my blocking in my California poppies. And these are mixtures of cadmium orange plus cadmium yellow medium. I've added on the darker shades. I've added a little bit of my mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. And that just kind of mutes it by adding the mud in there. And so that just gives me the shadow portion of my California poppies. These, I just love these. In fact, I have them growing in my garden they uh, pretty much have already bloomed. I still have a few little late blooms coming in, but they're, they bloom pretty much in the spring. If I water them real well, I get a few more blooms as the summer goes on, but they're a, they're a spring wildflower. And when they have a super bloom in California, oh my gosh, the, the hills are just covered with this golden orange. They're just beautiful. Just a really happy little flower. using a bright brush that's a square ended brush. This one's kind of separated out. Let me, there you go. And it enables me to, I can use the corner to make fine strokes or I can use the whole broad surface to make larger masses of color. I'm making this as, I'm using these yellow oranges in the foreground because that really brings these flowers for, forward. The foliage now I'm going to start blocking in. And these are mixes of my phthalo blue plus cadmium orange plus white. And it just gives a different leaf color. I want this to stand out from the leaves behind it. And this is actually the color of that gray green is is the color of the foliage of the California poppies. I initially blocked in my, or drew my sketch on the canvas with a mixture of my mud. Again, that's two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. And I use, I mix that with liquid. I use oil paints. And to begin the painting, I just sketch the whole plan up on my canvas with that liquid and oil mixture. Liquid and mud mixture, I should say. That just gives me my basic plan to follow. I just kind of smoosh this color around. It's a term that Jack came up with, real technical, but it's basically what I'm doing. Just put lots of color up there. I'll come back and give more detail. Poppies are just growing in between rocks here in the foreground. It's a little picnic spot. I'm going to have a tartan, a uh, little picnic blanket, sunflowers and grapes, and just all kinds of, just a fun little spot to come up. This resort, the big, the big painting which I showed you in the, in the beginning, is of the Ritz-Carlton Resort in Half Moon Bay, California. 
my collectors stayed there and loved it. Sunset, they come out, a, a Scottish bagpipe player comes out and plays Amazing Grace. And it's just, they said it's just so wonderful. And what we've done is the sky is just starting to get that late afternoon color in the sky. Sunset is not that far away, so we just made a little picnic spot where my collectors can mentally come up and sit and listen to Amazing Grace as it celebrates the day and the sunset and the glory of God. So this is making this little wonderful little picnic spot for them. The scene, the golf course and the resort are very similar to the scene. This little hill with the flowers is not there, but we've added this in just to make the painting special for them. And again, I just block this color in. I'll come back and do a lot more detail in this, but this I just want to get the canvas covered with, with these colors. And I get a lot of texture in these flowers. I have a friend who's blind, and when the paintings are dry, she loves to just be able to feel them. She said she can feel the color. But she can feel the texture of the flowers and the leaves. And that's one of my goals in painting is the background I don't want to be real texture, but as I get to the foreground, I want that texture. And that texture helps also give the feeling of depth in the painting by having the background less textured and then the foreground more textured. It just helps to give that feeling of depth. Now I am going to add the centers to my flowers. I need to put out a little more on my liquid. And again, this is liquid original. I'm going to make a wash of, if I can get this open, put a little bit of that out and make a wash of alizarin crimson plus just a touch. I just dip my painting knife in the liquid, just get a little bit on there, and that gives me enough to then make the centers in these flowers. And I just come back in and start adding the centers. And I'll do this in all those masses of color. That helps give the shape, starts defining the flowers. And I'll come back and highlight the petals that are illuminated by the sun. I'm just going to show you a few here and then show you how I put the stems and stuff in. I highlight some of those petals. Just get these. There. Okay. I'm going to highlight some of the petals with a mixture of my orange plus cadmium yellow medium and a little white just to lighten that up. Some of that. Now using a smaller brush, I'll come back in and, and just add some of these petals, flowers. But you can see how I just, now that I'm painting over color, I have to just gently lay the paint on there. Actually, I can, I can do that and then come back in and add the centers. There's several ways this can be done. But again, I add this with lots of texture. 
I have to just lay that paint on there. This is pure cadmium yellow. These flowers are more orange than yellow, but I like to add some of the yellows in here too. I'll show you a picture then of this completed. I'll add a few more centers into this. Again, this is my Alizarin Crimson plus Liquid Original. And I'll just make a thin wash of that. really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please visit my blog also. You can, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and to my blogs. Just the link to my blog is in the description below. You can see the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting. And I just really appreciate you watching. Feel free to ask questions. And you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And happy painting!